It's, uh, it's almost 2, so I need to finish as quickly as possible. So hi, I'm Matriya. Uh, I'm going to present the work that is uh, improvisation of the rule-based control strategy implemented for energy management system of a power split hybrid electric vehicle. So uh, these are the sections that I'll, that I'll be coming up, starting with the motivation and ending with the reference. In between, I'll be jumping with some of the uh, model uh, implementation on the Toyota Prius 2010 and how did I implement it actually the prediction based uh, improvisation on the basic rule based control strategy. So uh, if we see the motivation of this, this era, uh, we are actually experiencing a paradigm shift of uh, electric uh, vehicle technology from conventional, conventional IC uh, vehicle to the all electric vehicle and hybrid electric vehicle is the first step towards that pattern shift. Actually, it uh, it uh, contributes to the final goal of that is the elimination of the fuel consumption totally, and it contributes in uh, in in the form of reducing a partial amount of fuel consumption. And in doing so, we are actually incurring a lot of uh, control complexity and as well as some of the weights in the hybrid electric vehicle. It's uh, it's more complex than the all electric as well as from the conventional. So it may we may end up doing a adverse effect on the whole vehicle that it may end up with getting more <coughs> fuel consumption rather than reducing the fuel consumption. And for that we need an intelligent control system, which we know as energy management system. Now having this motivation of developing an energy management system, uh, this is my objective to actually improve the rule-based traditional control strategy, which is generally implemented for a system level component, not a component level control. So uh, I'll be improvising the basic rule-based control strategy with the help of prediction of velocity and for that I need to develop a neural network which will predict the velocity of the near future. So if we see the classification of the EMS that is based on two things. One is the architectural based classification, another one is the mathematical principle based classification. In the architectural based classification, we do have series, uh, EMS for the series, EMS for the parallel, and EMS for the combination of series and parallel. Clearly, we know that we do have certain advantages and disadvantages for all these series and parallel. Actually, combining most of the advantages and discarding most of the disadvantages disadvantages of these two, we can get a series parallel combination. And in that series parallel combination, we do have the provision of doing this series parallel in two ways. One is the, with the help of planetary gearbox, which is known as power split. And another one is the, uh, another one is facilitated by the clutch operation, which is known as mode shifting between the series and parallel. A lot of references I've seen that they, they told that clearly the winner is the power split uh, as far as the fuel consumption uh, and the sustainability of SOC is concerned. In the mathematical based, uh, principle based classification, we do have rule based, uh, the rule based in which we can have, we can subcategorize the, into deterministic as well as the fuzzy uh, rule based control approach and the optimization based control approach. The beauty of the rule based control strategy is it's reliable, it's easily implementable, and it's easy to develop. But uh, it doesn't give you uh, the optimal solution, neither it gives you the uh, all the all the possible situation where it can actually satisfy the uh, demand, power demand of the vehicle. So 
optimization based control strategy has to be implemented in the real, real life but as far as the implementation is concerned in real life it is pretty uh, challenging to implement the optimization based control strategy in a real vehicle due to the drawback like uh, the computational burden as well as the incumbency of prior knowledge of velocity so for that we have to trade up between the how we can actually uh, improve the rule based control strategy so that we can reach up to the level of uh, real economic figure that we gonna obtain from a, a optimization based control strategy so there from my project starts so modification of rule based control strategy let us see how people have modified the rule based control strategy to reach up to that figure of the optimization based control strategy in one of the cases uh, people have in, in many in, in several ways they have tried to do either by introducing the recalibration tables sometimes by the use of neural networks and sometimes also uh, with the application of prediction but not a, uh, not a f so many people they have used the prediction based either even though they have used they haven't used in in too many uh, cases so in some of the cases people have used that when to recharge and what way they should recharge the battery they they have uh, they have kind of extracted these information and they implemented this information in the traditional rule based technology control strategy some of the cases they uh, they have tried to predict what kind of regenerative uh, energy we gonna capture in the near future from the drive cycle but at the same time people have uh, acknowledged that prediction is pretty tough and that is that has to be accurate from from that aspect uh, what i have um, i'm proposing to contribute that we can do a prediction if we can get a very good prediction of the velocity ahead in the near future then we can actually do these things and the ems can take the decisions quite judiciously that one of the thing uh, one of the example is if we do have a prediction that in the near future we will be having a regenerative braking then now at this moment we can actually turn off the engine to recharge the battery so that that's how we gonna save the fuel consumption of the energy uh, of the engine if we do have a prediction that we in the near future we gonna uh, end up with doing some high torque then we will at this moment we try to save the energy of the battery because while uh, there will be a lot of uh, top demand that time we have to uh, operate the both the motor and the generator simultaneously so that gonna draw a lot of current and a lot of power so these are some of the examples where prediction can actually help so this is one of the paper that uh, he has proposed uh, they, they have proposed that we can actually with the previous two uh, 200 uh, seconds of data of vehicles uh, <coughs> velocity we can actually predict the 20 or 50 seconds of ahead uh, velocity profile so i have tried with uh, with that proposal i have tried to predict the velocity for the next 20 seconds using the previous 200 seconds this this is just like uh, predicting the stock market the value that's why actually we can see the prediction is not so good we can because uh, here only the one input was paid to the neural network if we can give an input of multiple like derivatives of velocity then we can actually improve the prediction and that's my proposal and this is the modeling of uh, Toyota Prius 2010 uh, so so uh, I have done mostly all the modeling part. Uh, only the engine is uh, is reminded. And in the controller, first of all, I have uh, developed the traditional co uh, controller control strategy. 
this is the traditional control strategy. This is uh, a bit different from the other of what uh, in the recent time people have done with the rule-based control strategy. They have uh, they have just uh, four or four or three states, but I do have one state representing the engine cranking as well as engine uh, another state which is representing engine on and it's it's producing uh, high torque so that means uh, engine generator and motor three are running and another one when the uh, engine is recharging the battery so uh, this is a state flow configuration with MATLAB that's how I built the uh, traditional then my future work is uh, like to improve first of all to integrate this controller and uh, I will try to uh, get the fuel economy value with this control strategy and then I gonna implement the prediction based improvisation on this traditional and then compare to the next yeah yeah So uh, your idea to your, your idea is to to try to improve that prediction of the the future condition using your network and say that no you know that? my uh, my objective is to improve the fuel economy of the over vehicle uh, by introducing the improvisation of the rule based technology rule based control strategy. Oh yeah, but uh, so uh, to yeah. For that, that I need to future. I need to make sure that my prediction of velocity is quite accurate. Now. And you mentioned something that you have to improve the derivation of the speed of the past two hundred seconds to. No, so using I, the. Sorry, guys, we have to stop for the yeah. next okay. class. Yeah. Yeah. But feel free to. We can take this later. Yeah, we can take it all night. I have a question. You can always. I have a question. Great. So uh, I am Tom.